Fight on. Thunder needs me badly. Yeah, Thunder's dying. <laughs> He's just like <laughs> at the at the uh, killer instinct, like 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 base. <laughs> Thunder's just dead on the floor, and like TJ's like on his phone, and Hisako's just like lit, lit, leaning against the wall, and they're like, "All right, uh. <laughs> what do you want us to do?" He just had two back-to-back -back fights. <laughs> oh, me had rough day. It's fine, Thunder. You'll make it. Just throw a bunch of relics and loot at him. Some odorous wolf hearts. <laughs> Some stinky wolf Just hearts. Just start throwing organs on Thunder. Okay. He'll be fine. Uh, there's one mission left for today. Yeah. And I, Hisako's the only one who hasn't gotten yeah, Hisako, anything Hisako done. Yeah, again, son. But it's the, how about you carry some fucking load, uh, Hisako? How about you pull your weight? And she's like, she just starts babbling in... Uh, in uh, Morata. So, uh, so Mimic Cinder only is power level. So this is a really, really basic guy. Uh, so he doesn't really have anything going just, just, on. Just deploy her. Just deploy her. You know what? Seventy percent. Why is it seventy percent? Give her, give her, give her a guardian. <laughs> and, and give her like. Give her the guardian code. Yeah. Give her a consumable, and then watch. Yeah. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Done. Guaranteed survival. We have lots of rewards. But it will still give me the dumb story shit, which I like. You're in the Andes Mountains, standing near the ruins of the Night Guard's headquarters called the City of Dawn. An armed woman wearing camouflage appears in the jungle and approaches you cautiously. D are you down with this? I am a member of the new Night Guard forces stationed at the Citadel. There's a fiery mimic on the rampage. Many have died. Will you aid us? Of course. Leave me this creature. You're not much of a guard. <laughs> Are oh, you down with a threesome with this woman from the jungle? Did it? Did the monster see through your camouflage? Since that's why I'm here, I'll, I'll, I gained health. Hey! Thank God! Thank you for destroying that creature, like horrible abomination ghost. There you go. <laughs> Next time, try coating yourself in mud. Maybe it can't see I mean, you. It's, it didn't see me. So I got three little things where usually we get like what four or five. Yeah, I got little free little freebies. You have defeated Mimic Cinder and recovered three superb scrolls of restore. If you're injured, make sure to blah blah blah. But your adventure in the City of Dawn isn't done. You spot an alabaster, alabaster with its lid still sealed. So ghosts could shoot out. It could shoot poison in my face. Or I could use her rocket. Face my mighty rock! I'll smash it with a rock. Ah! The stone jar explodes with a sounding crack, spraying you with pickled rodent brain ah! <laughs> Now the disgusting, stinky ghost of Sako Loves smells it. gross. But you are the, the proud, proud owner, owner. of the <laughs> <laughs> Look, a, a scroll of restore dossier was... Dude, this is like Umbrella Chronicles, where oh, fucking man. Umbrella is stuffing, uh. like, dossiers and files inside, what, fluorescent oh, lighting God. tubes? Turn God, Hisako three. is just Watamote. Just fucking loves being disgusting. <laughs> She's just really routed film. <laughs> Sugoi. <laughs> it's disgusting. Uh, so that's actually Cinder. It's not a mimic. That's real Cinder. Yeah, it's real life Cinder. A true Cinder. A true Cinder. Uh, yeah, we haven't fought Fulgore yet. I don't we even know. Uh, man, like, these mimics ain't even worth the time. Like, I, I say deploy on these motherfuckers, because we got real dudes to fight. We got real, like, real love? We got real dudes to fight. Can't locked. Some you can't. Oh, okay. Not not really sure why. I, mean, I think it's because you've already you've already deployed with that character. Right. Maybe you can, and then you have to deploy the next character. But uh, well, whatever. Did she take any damage from that deployment? Uh, no, but I gained health. Yeah, that's true. Okay. You know, I'm good. Yes. Yeah, sure. I can do it this time. I swear. I swear, man. There are many useful supplies left behind an abandoned building near your target point. You could gather the supplies here, but it'll take some time. It may attract more mimics. I'm not gonna risk it. Are mimics just wandering the streets? Like it's like it's like later Street Fighters. Because <laughs> everyone's wandering. 
You decided to play it safe and abandon. Asako has decided not to loot. Because if you're just standing around at a warehouse and there's a chance that mimics will approach you, that means the world no, is already no, fucked. No, it's fucking it, it's fucking Stardust Crusaders. Oh, stand users are drawn together. No, Dio is Gargos. Yeah. And because Gargos is here, mimics are just appearing. Okay, and he's sending them after you or Mimic, I am the gatekeeper between the two worlds. But only in Japan. Your name means everlasting child. Ha! I will beat you. Fulgore would never... Witness the dry wit of Fulgore! Yeah, he would never emit a ha. Ha ha! Ha ha! This is Fulgore just like, I don't even care. He has personality now? What the fuck? Yeah, for, for like Arya or Fulgore, or even like Agonos. Is Agonos like, ha oh, oh, ha! I'll beat you, tiny child! Thunder is like down there in the valley looking up going, hey, what's going on up there? <laughs> There's a cool ass mimic fight, that's what's going on. Yo, who is that? Check out that girl. All right. Okay, weird. So the difficulty on mimics is always low, right? That's basically the idea. No, they're, I, I mean, I think their AI has been on easy, but with the buffs, it makes them a bit harder. But for that Cinder fight, that that was labeled as hard. Like his AI might be hard. I think that's that's what it is. I assume. A lot going on in this mode. There's a whole lot going every, on. Not everyone knows. Even DJ is like, yeah. I didn't even know we put that in there. Well, and the other thing too is like, it, it's it's also like, I hope you've got decent character versatility. What's a character? What's a character is dead? Like unless you use the Phoenix down, they're, yeah. they're done, right? Uh, but like I'm not sure, but I think you you have the the chance to uh, recruit more guys, depending. Oh, okay. That, okay, that's cool. Oh shit! I was just about to ultra on the last hit. You felt it. You bastard! Oh! Whatever. Good D, though. I just throw. Fuck you! Chest. Finally, my reward! Like, you've been sending us these mimics, and that's all fine and dandy, but the real thing we're after is for them to blow up into a chest. <laughs> it's a weird thing trying to quantify that part to the story element. Because Con all Conrad said was like, You'll get rewards. But you never said that mimics explode into chests. That explode into no, items. No, they fell they fall from the sky. That's true. Their body disappears at the same time. So I guess the killer instinct god is like, oh, oh, oh fight my children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here are epic chests. Like they're they're pleased and they like they let it, the loot rain on you. Yeah, no, if you please the gods with your your hype killer instinct play, then they're like, oh, take this stinky deer penis. <laughs> It gives you free instinct. <laughs> Just now, I'll warn you, it <laughs> is a suppository for you to gain that buff. Okay, I think, I think TJ. TJ, TJ is like, TJ yeah, pull me in, coach. Uh, I think TJ can do it with free TJ would moves. be like, I'm not using no pickled rodent shit. <laughs> I'll use my, I'll use my implants. And two psychic breakers. Yeah, okay. We get, I think some of the things we've been using, we could probably pump them back wait, up. Wait, 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 yeah, you're super right. I'm like, why is it like we can get more than two? Yeah, we got we got we got shit now. We gotta go feed our ram. Yeah. Alright. So or was it Ward? No, it was Ram. So you go to the barn. I, I think we used the one that was below this, like in that stack. So there's one that was really low in RAM. There, see, that's the one that we've been using, I think, or or whatever. E each of them has different, like, classifications of how good they are. So, the, like, the secondary abilities, for example. Starts with 2, plus 10 damage, and plus 10 defense. Starts 60. With four. Oh. Well, that's amazing. I'll just use that but one. Don't use that now. Is it, is it a one and done? You can't recharge it? You can recharge it. You might be able to recharge it, but I, it probably takes a lot of resources to recharge 70. it. 78! Dude, this one's way better! I know, but keep that for Gargos or Omens, dude! Yeah, but then but we can just recharge it. 
Yeah, but what I'm saying is that the resources to recharge the astral gems might be really high to recharge those. We uh, might even have enough. Uh, let's see. Requires 300, and we barely have 300. To fill this card back up. Yeah, uh, see, see? Uh, okay, fine, fine. Just don't, just don't go nuts. It's still early. Okay, okay. Uh, you could always grind to get a little bit more, though, right? Yeah, but, I mean, it, it depends on, like, okay, what, he's, where It says he's hard, so I just... Yeah, no, to... he's hard. You, you certainly use something, but... Okay, well... Where's the one that I want? The only choices I have are this one or this one. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I have to go back down in class. Oh, because they're, yeah, common, rare, epic. Okay, plus ten, two psychic breakers. So, I can see Cinder has shadow siphon, so I assume that means he's going to be able to drain your shadow meter in some fashion. Yeah. So maybe get something that, uh, yeah. uh, uh, a, re uh a consumable that helps with that. Uh, to, uh, let me do two psychic breakers. It's only two, though. Yeah, a little better than none. And sure, the other, sure. other, the other ones are sig the sixty and seventy percent. Yeah, you're right, say, you're right, you're so. right. But then get something to that does good stuff for your shadow meter. Uh, free shadow moves is always good. Unlockable, unblockable attacks. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's spend one of these stinky wolf hearts. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, like deploy. It's like no, you gotta fight him. Beep 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 beep. In Ecuador. Oh. Cinder is looking for a sparring partner to practice some new moves on. How about we make this interesting? Wager all the gems. <laughs> gems. All the ki gems. Fuck you. <laughs> TJ never turns down a bet. Shit, I should have healed. Shit. Why'd I wager? <laughs> Why'd it actually- Why'd it gotta be like that? I should've wagered the stinky wolf heart. <laughs> Yo, man, if you beat me, you I get this- you. you get this disgusting organ I've been keeping in my pocket. Huh? 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 So there's like, uh... <laughs> Shadow Sure. Cipher. Yeah, so I assume- I assume that I might be I like- I that. I assume that's like... Shadow Jago's thing. Just straight up taking your meter the whole round. If you have free shadow. Once I beat him here, he's done though, right? That's the real Cinder. Yeah. Okay. Like I'd, I'd imagine you never fight Cinder again. Yeah. Enemies are outside the shadow meter. But if you have, if you have free shadow meter, then it should be fine. So use the odorous wolf heart if you think you're having a problem. And it said his power level was three, so I just assume he does good damage and has good defense. Well, I'll do my, my basic grabbing fucking, you know. I was like, oh, very impressive. You did an air combo. Oh, he's like a faker. That makes sense. That's pretty, it's pretty, you're doing pretty good so far. So I guess don't use anything if you think, feel you don't need to. Ram's like, I'm ready. Whatever you need me, bro. Yep. Although it's weird, you already it said you had two psychic breakers, but it says you have two, but you've already used one. Probably so maybe you were punished or something, I don't know. Cinder's so like, this isn't going well. Oh. Uh. Okay, good, you got the uh, pyro bomb off you. Ah, yes, it wasn't that tough. Yeah. I mean, you're right, the, the... Like, Cinder exploded, too. He wasn't a mimic, but... Who rang that bell? Yeah, and Fury's core inside this volcano, it was there's the, that ring bell. It was the bell in his head. It's in his head all along. In the, um... In the Killer Instinct Definitive Edition, in, like, the little special thing you get with the, uh the disc version there's like all these um making of documentaries and shit uh they talk about how if you re hear really carefully every time tj gets knocked down you hear a slight bell when he gets back up are you kidding me and that you hear a crowd roar every time he gets back up you might have to listen in to game in game every it's, time I pit, that's what the audio guy said collect your wager that's a lie. We'll have, to, we'll have to listen. We'll have to listen. Cinder hands over the wager to Astral Gems. Score! Fucking sweet. All right. Uh, let's... 
Yeah, Hasako's Hasako's low. Heal her up. Also, you know, just top off, top off, my boy. Uh, who, Thunder or TJ? Combo. Okay. Is she still uh, at 92? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Low. It it looks weird because it's like his face is slowly getting covered with more red. <laughs> So it just looks like he painted his mouth red. It's <laughs> weird. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Nah, man. You saving the world or are you just... Nah, we're playing. We're playing. We're just doing face paints now? <laughs> and TJ's like, uh, Thunder's like, I will show you. <laughs> My paint goes along with the law. Anyway. Yellow um, and black. Alright, so just uh, Shadow Jago. Does he have anything on him? He's power level 1 and Shadow Drain, so I guess that's not too great, but... Oh, deploy him. Yeah, maybe we might be able to deploy him. Oh, no. Do you want to play? Because sure. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't take thunder as much. As I mean, this, it's, this is a pretty, pretty free fight all in all. So yeah, it should be. Uh, so he's still on the parry. Okay, he keeps the shit from last time. And it says he it says he's medium. Yeah. Conrad materializes before you, laughing wickedly. The Shadow Lord's corruption radiates from this location like a disease, <laughs> tainting everything around it. Here is where Shadow Jago first emerged. Tell me about this Shadow Jago. <laughs> this Shago, you say? This strange creature was born from the possession of Jago by the demon omen. Shago, as some sh oh, wow. some name him, wields a fireball called Shendo Kuken, and he sees with hatred for Jago. Uh, but now you must fight a mimic version of Shadow Jago. A mockery of a mockery. Yeah, that is actually a pretty tank goofy. chest. So be prepared to do those combos do to, a real combo. to knock it open. Okay. But I can't command grab it. I can't believe that they. Because Shago is a made up, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting game term for him. Gargos is the unmaker. That's a, uh, that's a Keats word. Yeah, exactly. He's like, don't call him Shago. Don't call him that. He's Shadow Jago. He, he hates it. He's a real boy. He gets really mad when you call him Shago. More than that. Uh, but no, the, the, the what's the rate of decay on my, on my cards is what I need to find yeah, out. Yeah, that's, that's the nitty gritty stuff I didn't really, like, uh, look too far into. It's me, Shago. Oh yeah, right, you don't have a uh, second breaker, you have the parry. <laughs> this Skyfall is taking a uh, uh, shake of like, wait, what? That was crazy. Oh, Remember when I told you about, yeah. uh, uh, I was like, so... Shadow Jago's music is just like a heavy metal screaming version of Jago's music. You're like, oh, awesome. There you go. Shit. Uh, no parry. But that, that's the other thing I don't know about parries is like, can you parry multiple things? I would assume, but I don't know. It's it's too, it's a little risky. I can't believe that they would they would program that in that amount of detail for just like a one-off power you get in one mode. I mean, yeah, you can play, you, like I said, you can play with all the Sh Shadow Lord shit in, uh, in online multiplayer, so that I guess there's that, but... There you go. Nice. Remember, you're gonna have the uh, tank chest. Tank I chest. Save my instinct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And don't do a uh, salmon dish, do like ankle slicer. That should be it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's as if you get the meter all the way to the end by the time the counter runs out. Uh, okay. So you got everything there. You just have to stack up that combo super hard, basically. It, the, the, well, it flew open. It's like, okay, 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 take my <laughs> Oh, you take it, take it. Jesus you take it off. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. You're crazy, man. <laughs> Shadow particles. You will never open me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Just take it and go. Don't touch me. Ah. 
Yeah, who's behind me? What was that? Up there. There's a bird. <laughs> So while we've been playing this, I've been getting text messages from Crime Tina saying two birds are in the house uh, and they won't leave. And I was like, what are the cats doing? They're like, they're hiding. Yeah. Conra reappears and leers at you, licking his dry lips. You defeated the Mimic Shadow Jago. This is a good sign. You gained Melatonin Nanobots Mark II. ruh <laughs> When you equip it to a fighter in the barracks, it'll help them heal a little bit each day. You know what, Thunder? <laughs> I I might be able to start using you for more important assignments. Yeah. What would you, do you want, since it's thunder, what do you want me to the say? Mel since when you equip the melatonin to the fighters, Give sleep though. good. No, that's melanin. That's melanin. What's melatonin? Wait, in? wait, hold on. Look at that little bottle you have. Melatonin lets you sleep good. You're there right. You go. Melanin is the black people stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't work for you, Conrad, or give you another quest? Uh, I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, I guess it's just a side quest or not. Might as well take it. What, I don't work for you? I'll or? take another quest. If you call it a quest, how can I deny? Very good, Thunder. I think that this is the beginning of a delightful friendship. Who needs alliance, eh? But now you must retrieve another important relic. <laughs> you locked the dossier for black people. <laughs> it's fine. That's sleep good. S sleepy, <laughs> sleepy black sleepy people. Sleepy black people. <laughs> Listen, tell Crime Tina the only way to get the birds out of the house is to get a get a sheet and like you trap the bird in the sheet and then you carry it outside. Okay, all right, well, I'll say. Uh, so you got Tusk, uh, Hisako. You know what? Maybe it's like if I defeat Hisako with Hisako, mm. that might be a thing. Says it's hard though. That we'll see. And it's in South America. And it's in South America, which so means something. The KOF fanboys are watching. Oh, they're all watching. Uh, okay. Get a get a good one. Actually, they're not watching. They're true. playing KOF. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Why would they be watching this? Like a real fight between two fucking demons. Like uh uh uh, his, uh what's it what Sadako versus yeah Kayako is happening right behind them, and they're like, nah, the KOF ninety eight though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, heavy D. Try this. Damage over time. So when I, when I was young, when all my cousins, we'd watch these kung fu movies, and, uh... <laughs> wait, wait. When searching monastery in North Andes for mimics, you notice an ornate chest sitting upon altar. There might be something useful inside, but tamper that might provoke the temple's spirit protectors. Take a peek, or leave it alone. Looky, 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 looky. What do we got here, cookie? Inside the chest is a heaping bounty of valuable materials. Before you collect them, a mimic Asako comes crashing through the water. She, she comes <laughs> She's a ghost! Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Take the mimic out and collect your reward. So all that, all that is is like we're going to get a tank chest at the end. So that's cool. A heaping bounty. She's not the fucking Kool-Aid man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we used to watch kung fu movies and stuff. And we, then we play fight afterwards, right? Like pedals in a storm, Mimic, you fall to the ground. Oh. You know, the Shadow Lord or whatever. Yeah. Kneel to the Shadow Lord trademark of Iron <laughs> Galaxy and Microsoft. <laughs> um, so watch your Kung Fu movies? And we'd always, and there's, I forgot the movie, but we'd watch it and they had all the different animal styles. And like, you know, there's like the snake style, and the tiger style, right, and the crane, crane style, and stuff, exactly. So, and at the end when we play, be play fighting, my fucking cousin, he would do snake style and put his hands into the snake bite hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then he'd pinch you really hard for real while the we were fighting. Uh, I guess that's like a snake bite. Yeah. And it fucking sucks because we're like, when we're doing the tiger palm, we're not actually scratching you. So what the fuck, man? Stop doing the snake pinch. And he's like, nah, I am the no. <laughs> Right? And so it got so bullshit that after a while we had fuck. to ban snake style. It was it was deemed too powerful. Snake style is not allowed when you're fucking play fighting because if you pinch it, it hurts too much. Every other style is cool because you can have fun with it, but not snake style. It's, it's, it's deemed too OP. It's the, like, he refused to fake it. He was wrestling stiff. That's such stiff. a weird story. He was wrestling stiff. You can't wrestle stiff as a child. That's too much. No one wanted to work with him. Shit, hard. We got laid up. Leave me alone. 
Christ. All right. She's, she's for real. The happiest music for these two demons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what is that guardian spirit? Is it like a salamander? It's a snake. No, it's a snake. It's, it's a snake. Yeah, right. It just... It has a very fat body. Poison bite! What? I counter, hit her! Counter sucks. But I've never seen that where I've, I've, I've hit the, the... Nope. She had better suck. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll suck it, I'll suck it, I'll see what happens, I'll suck it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh. shit! Come on! Uh-oh. Who is the mimic and who is the real? <laughs> oh my god, just spend it. There you go. Fuck. The snake's like, yeah, I'm out of here. That was not impressive at all. Uh, 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 you got some of it. Got some of it, not all of it, unfortunately. I forgot that there was a tank chest there. Whew. Whew. I had a, I had a friend that would go over, uh, and yeah, he would play fight. He had a little sister, and he always play fight like like yeah, come and play fight. She's like no, and then he put her into this fucking like uh, uh, submission hold. Yeah, God. And he'd be like, yeah. give up, give up, and she'd be like legit crying, and I'd be sitting there going, this is really Jesus, uncomfortable, man. <laughs> I don't know about this. So I didn't what get a skin, fuck? so I'm not sure how to get them. I don't look that up, huh? Be nice to at least get one for one character. Like, if you set the terms where you can initiate a play fight with the other person... Like, okay, my brother and I, we basically had money in the bank rules when it came <laughs> to play fighting. Right? If you get the item... And no, it was just like, I can cash in on a play fight at any time. And it's like, I get a first sucker punch in, you take it, but then you're in there, right? So, like, you could just be sitting there minding your own business, playing a video game, and your brother could just hit you over the head and, and then cash in the play and, fight? And then we're going. We're, it's, it, shit's rolling. But if your sister's not down at all... She's, she, she wasn't. The fuck? I don't know. You, you can't have money in the bank rules, but not tell someone that you have that. <laughs> Because it's not, it's not great. <coughs> Just come running in at lunchtime on their on the schoolyard, stunner out of nowhere. Okay, so actually, it's it's way it's way more simple than that. Uh, you unlock uh, mimic skins for defeating a certain amount of mimics, and each character has a skin that unlocks after. So if you defeat ten mimics, you unlock TJ, Conrad, or Arias. Defeat thirty. You get Glacius, Sadira, and Kim Woo's. Defeat 50. Matt. You get... Yes. I really want to buy a pack of cards. You you could with our real stuff. Now, you just want to make sure what you buy is two Guardians total. This this automatically contains two, two of those Phoenix Downs. But that's the best deal. But you can't afford it. 400 or 900? That's not that bad. No, the, the, the next one, you're over. Best oh. deal. You can't afford that shit. Three Guardians. but Because there's Guardians you're missing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you, you get Thunder, Orchid, Jago, Maya, and Riptors if you defeat 50 Mimics. So we're not close to one that. One rare or better Guardian guaranteed. Yeah. How about that? Sure. I mean, we might wind up just getting a double of what we already have, but... Which one? Uh, well, I have twelve hundred gold and five thousand astral gems. But the astral gems are used for gameplay. Yeah, but we have five thousand. I think it's good. Use the astral gems. <gasps> oh, the fractured ward generates armor. Oh, we yeah, already had that right. one's attack okay. while taking less damage. Each match starts with at least one stack of armor. I mean, it is good. Armor yeah, that's overtime. solid though. Solid, and you see that it's just like a little, it's like a little beep bop robot. Two stacks, okay. So it, it is good, but uh, you can buy another if you want. But yeah, I, I want to see like ones we don't have. You know, I think there's one that we don't have, and they're gonna add more later as you go on. Like they're gonna add more guardians as DLC. So another rare pack. Yeah, I mean we could, but I mean 
yeah, I guess it's the only one you can really afford, and it's going to be, you know, at least more special than the other ones. Come on, new. Shiny new. I want shiny new. Shiny, shiny. Refresh that content, you son of a bitch. Wait, it's refreshing the content twice. Give me smooth and That's silky. It's so fresh. It's God damn snake. it. Fuck you, snake. The snake's poison bite applies potential I know. damage to your right. I know this. Perform an ender on your opponent can't to activate quit. poison bite. Perform an ender again to cash out on the potential damage you've dealt. Okay, but what kind of what, at least what kind okay, of Okay, that's how it works. That's a good that's a good one, I guess. Six points of damage per second. Yeah. That's that seems fine. I mean, you gotta you also have to cash it out. Okay. So that's tusk at medium. And that's all that's left. No. True True Saber Wolf. True Saber fight Wolf. him, fight him. Yeah, in Shy Town. Where Saber Wolf's hanging out. Saber Wolf has overdrive shadow bond. I don't know what that is, and his power level's at two. I can deploy on that if I yeah, want. You can on true Shago. I mean on true Sha uh, Saber Wolf. Yeah. Oh. You get less rewards, but I think we have like a good amount. So it's up to you. Ah, eh, fuck it. Deploy on it. Deploy you on. You still get the dumb story stuff. So. Yeah. If there is any, which it didn't seem like there was. Moldy fingernail. Lovely. Fucking for real. Oh. Actual nasty ass poison. Uh, po Saber shit. respects your skill, so that's what I mean. Oh, but, cool! But you have to replace somebody. You right? replace someone, so I think we're I think we're good. Fuck out of here, you mangy dog! Yeah, get out of here, you top tier loser. Snail Wolf puts his tail between his legs and, and walks whimpers away. off, <laughs> pees on something, and falls asleep. So yeah, there's 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 Tusk there. So he goes back to joining the evil side, basically. I know, he just whimpers and goes back to Castle Von Saberwolf, I suppose. Oh, so yeah, deploying uh, a thunder like that was like his turn. Yeah. Okay, we don't need to go kill So Mimic Tusk has nothing, but his power level is at two, so he's, you know, not... He's, he's medium difficulty, but he has nothing else. It's just the, the idea that, like, Saberwolf was like, I'll help you take on Gargos. Oh, wow. You arrive at a sunny Mediterranean island. You stumble upon the entrance of a secret grotto filled with the ruins of an ancient Greek temple. But there's something alive in here. It's a mimic version of the immortal Tusk. He holds forth his sword, contemplating it with a fixed <laughs> gaze. The other Tusk calls his blade Wargrim, Wolf's Wrath. But I have renamed mine. It will now be known forever as Kralok Gargos, <laughs> Tooth of Gargos. So dumb. Why is Gargos invading the Earth? Use the Omicron! I do not ask my master why he <laughs> does what he does. The planets do not ask the sun why they circle it. Nay! They merely obey the laws of gravity. You're a fool to defy the Shadow Lord. Sure. So that's In other it. words, I, you do you, I'ma do me. <laughs> exactly. Says Green Tusk. He looks like an orc now. He looks like Shrek. He yeah. looks terrible. Yeah, no. My stupid sword sings to me of carnage and death. No one cares, you ugly so, green thing. Yeah, so the real Tusk, he named his sword like a thing, but I, I you know, I got it <coughs> named for mine too. The fact that he actually called him the real Tusk is goofy shit, because he's like, I know I'm a mimic. I know that I'm less. He doesn't think he's the real one. I, mean, I guess they're just manifestations like, of Gargos' evil. And it, like, well, in mirror matches in like Street Fighter, the com the, the commentary would always be like, "You're not the real me. You're an illusion." Or but, but there's only one of me. But that's slightly even dumber. Yeah, because how did it doesn't explain it at all? <laughs> no, you're totally right. Yeah. But this guy's like, oh no, the real Tusk is totally sicker. Uh, the son of the really <coughs> regenerates armor over time. A stack armor is consumed when hit by the opponent. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, if Tusk hits you with anything, you don't block it. I guess you just gotta automatically use it. Auto barrages are fucking solid. Yeah. Oh! That, that looks awesome. really good, though. That looked really good. The Fractured War is just like, I'm watching out for you, buddy. I'll, I'll be your Wally. -E. This is a slow, slow beatdown. Fuck it. 
Look at how depressed Tusk's portrait is. Yeah, he's not really happy with the state of affairs. It's, it's kind of like when, a, when you have a character that, that has portraits that react to damage. And he's like in the middle stage. He's like, oh god. It's not going well. You gonna fight her? Oh, that was awesome. Fracture Ward's cool. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's actually like a slightly different effect than what uh, a Glacius gets for his armor or, or a Gargos even. Yeah, but take your shit. What if it's a mimic one We didn't one listen. Day? We didn't listen. Oh, I don't even think. I'm not it's even too, sure it's, if, you, it's too quiet. if you There's got no knocked way. down. There's no way. It's too quiet. We'll have, we'll I don't have believe to, it. It's a lie. <laughs> it's the fucking he guy. He lied. The guy who lied. He's, but then they showed clips of it! He's like, I bet you if I make up some bullshit, everyone's gonna believe it. That's what a lot of people do when they lie. Yeah, I wanted to know about the lore of Moldy Finger. <laughs> we have folders of them. <laughs> Just TJ Combo walking around in Greece going, I found a Moldy Fingernail. This I'm the champ. We got wiki entries on this moldy fingernail. This will bring me back to rise. The, the cloud of sand practically blinds you as Conra appears from within the vortex with his white eyes shining evilly. <laughs> TJ Combo, well done. I am bestowing upon you an elixir of stone skin. Oh shit, that'll be cool. Yeah. Consuming this in battle will make you more than vulnerable and give you free shadow moves for a short time. What do you mean by invulnerable, Conra? Free shadow moves. And what are fighting shadow moves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meter? <laughs> you must still you must perform them, TJ Combo, but your shadow energy does not drain. You can even perform them one after the other. Go bonkers! <laughs> What is this word, bonkers? <laughs> Journey to Assassin's Creed, where the mimic is hoarding the material spirit core. You can use it to craft a plethora of useful items in my emporium. Is that what the kids say these days, turnt? Are you getting turnt? Why, why is everyone saying everything is lit? I, I don't understand. Of course it's lit. It's daytime. It's <laughs> 12 o'clock. Why, why wouldn't it be lit? Two fulgores. So things are stepping up. And real thunder. Wait, if that's real thunder, what if you take thunder? Uh-oh. Here, you take thunder. I want to see. But we might have used them on this turn. Wait, it says a mimic in the guise of thunder. But it's not a mimic. It's no, it just... says, no, it's mimic thunder. So well, how come he does have a stinky green face? Oh, I don't know. He is. It's just not stinky enough. Look, I guess not. My, look at my look at the bottom corner. That's yellow. And yeah. then that one's green. I guess so. So it, it doesn't really matter because, like, like I said, um, uh, we can't uh, uh, deploy. We can't uh, unlock mimic skins by just like, like it's it's by how many mimics we defeat. So I guess I assume that if we unlock them, we uh, we must have got, we must have beaten ten by now. What is this dab that all the children are doing? <laughs> I I don't. A dab of what? An what alliance. quantifies how much of a dab? A dollop? <laughs> a dollop. An alliance reconnaissance team near your mission site has captured a small group of Gargos cultists. Jesus. The cultists insist on speaking to Hisako. The cultist leader says we have information regarding the location of a powerful weapon. If you release us, we will tell you how to recover it. Imprison the cultists. Release. No. Lock that shit Lock up. Lock that shit up. You're fucking cultists of Gargos. An alliance does not negotiate with Gargos or his minions. You send the cultists to an Ultratech cultist detainment facility. Fuck you, Garanga. Send you to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. Corruption has decreased in Africa. Thank God. You got a shot of all the cultists stacked up back to back in a human pyramid, and Hisako's got a cigarette in her mouth like, ah? Yeah. Ah. So there's, uh... Oh. Huh? War Room Relic Hunt? But how can we can take up three? We can take three dudes now. Or something? Oh, fucking KOF rules. All I right. guess uh, there's it's against Mimic Agonos, and he's got power level two and reinforced, which I don't know what that is. All right, I can't take Osako. So yeah, let's, let's get the boys. The boys. I guess that's good. Weird. Earn astral 
gems for maximum rewards. You find yourself in a dank cave. A the dank lair meme of cave. The assassin Sadira, but something else is living here. A mimic of the war golem Agnos. He guards his precious spirit core, hoard with ferocity. What is so special about this special spirit cores? I'ma take that core! Take that shit. I need cores. These wonders are for me. None will touch them. An enemy has become more powerful. Oh, he got angry because you tried to take it? These oh, yeah, he got he, he got Fury 1 in that cutscene. Oh. Because you reached out and tried to pull his chest out. He's like, no, my power core. Shadow Lord Washi, roll over this pebble. I do it for your glory. Although that is a specific Agonos yeah. line, roll over this pebble or whatever, I'd assume. Again, I don't think Cinder is like, I will roll over this pebble with my giant rock form. It's like meeting Tony Stark and just reaching out and being like, I'm taking that. I'm your taking chest. I'm taking your X Games <laughs> trophies. <laughs> then Tony Hawk Games Fury One. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony Hawk reveals he's a cultist well, for Gargos. His brittle bones and his, his nine hundred will bones. surely defeat you. Slam, bam. All right, reinforce. Reinforce enemies are immune to chip damage. The damage that it's taking while each other. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We we know. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you, yeah. There you go. Whoa. So it's always it always takes a second for like when you're fighting Agonos or like uh, a boss. The perspective of the camera zooming out slightly. I'm always like, that, oh yeah. right, right, right. I forgot. Uh, he's got a lot of health too, so you gotta. Oh, you can. Man. You can. Both successive parries. That totally works. Yep. Sick. That looks good. No, that wasn't. That wasn't any good. Nice. Yeah. Almost like a shadow cannon. Yeah. Better. For the shadow counter, you, you have to like get the catch in there, but that's just pure timing. And the animal for this one is what? What is that? Uh, that's the parry guy. Yeah, I know, but what is he? I don't know. Is it a little dragon guy? A little seahorse with the hands. <laughs> what? What? What an abomination! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Dun 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 Oh, I fucked it up. He was already in the air. You can you can get an uppercut though. And then mediums? Oh yeah. Ah, not after that. Not that good. Who does that spider work for? Is that spider work for Sidira's spider worker. Is that a Gargo spider for No, it's one of the bosses from Arachnophobia. Oh, from eight legged right. freaks? Or uh, eight legged freaks cross arachnophobia. Uh, so I think. Well, we beat Agonos, so there's no reason to beat TJ. You got a Thunder background, too. One of the best backgrounds. Weird that they would just let you randomly put in two guys when you're still fighting one that wasn't even that great. I guess they assumed it would be a tricky, you know? It would be a tricky. It's tricky to, it's tricky to combo a rhyme. Uh, yeah, no, that's Sidira's cave and, and Sora has and things, so she's the weird spider group that I think is, like, the one faction in Killer Instinct that's never mentioned once other than it exists. I was going to say, do they ever quite bring that up? Kanra arrives and sprays sand throughout <laughs> the cave in jubilation. <laughs> like, sprays? You've won so much spirit core, Thunder. See you at the Emporium, where you're, you can craft miraculous and power. We know. Keep on, Keep on fighting. Fight. We know, but don't forget. We know they will. We know. I don't trust you, mummy. Oh, Ooh. so humorous. Right, this is when the development team was like, he's not a mummy. Even though he's a fucking mummy. Laughs insanely. <laughs> Wow. Conrad's origin, though. Oh, because you called him a mummy. Yeah. I get it. As so, the world he, turns. So you see the, the, the corruption has grown North America. So I, I don't know how you feel. We've, we've kept the corruption at an all-time low. low. So I don't know how you feel, but we could try to get an omen out yeah. by skipping a turn. And if we defeat that omen, then that's one thing uh, that Gargos will not get. 
Okay, but hold on a minute though, because um, Thunder's wiping his mouth with blood. Well, yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, no, uh, top him off. But you can see though when you go back to the corruption mirror, you can see that middle point with those little circles. That's where omens appear. You have so. to push that to get an omen. Yeah. Okay. So uh, no, TJ is fine. Yeah. Well, I mean they're all at eighty, but I mean it's, it okay. Be so so ending the turn. Yeah. Without doing anything. Exactly. Okay. So, Sila, corruption went the fuck up. Okay. But because I I I, I assume that's what happens when you fail, right? So it's like we failed all those. Missions. Oh yeah, if we if we had failed them, yeah, that then, would go up. Then that that corruption, but we won every single match. So. Okay, so now we want. If we fail these by giving up uh, by ending the turn as well, then is the uh, corruption is going to go past the middle. Yes. And then we get an omen. Yeah. So let's get an omen. But wait, wait, wait. Look, you see, you see, you see that. If we fail, we should beat this one. Beat this one normally, or, or deploy. Why? Because you see that the corruption meter. You see that one thing. Corruption is going to go like. Su wait, go, go to another mission real quick. That's this is Africa. Yeah, I know. All right. Okay, it's fine. It's just that like I'm trying to look at the corruption meter. You see that they they, they goes on the different continents that yeah. you know, switching. Does that mean like that it's going to affect that country? Yeah, exactly. So, so you want Africa and and South America, we want to fail to go a little bit higher. Yes, and North America is kind of low. So, yeah, I guess if you either lose this specific one, like go into the match and lose it. Okay. Or end your turn. Okay, and it'll on. just bring one omen out in the one place you want him to come out. Uh, can I deploy here? No, I can't. All right, so I'll do this mission, and then we'll uh, sure try to get it, get the omen out. Because they're really close, but Orc is looking for a sparring partner to practice some. Oh, it's the same thing as. Uh... So the real characters just want to spar. Would would. Orchid, who is instrumental in being part of this alliance that's trying to, like, stop all this shit from happening, would she really be like, hey, brah? Wanna bet? Wanna some bet gems? astral gems? The things we need to defeat Gargos? I need some. Hey, man. One step closer. To flushing out me buying stuff. <laughs> one I'm, step closer to fur coats. I'm poor with money. <laughs> They offered me the one no, thing don't. I can't resist. Money. That's correct. There's nothing I could have done. So, uh, I was talking about you, they had those little uh, documentaries in the definitive uh, disc uh, version of this. And uh, they also have like a huge encyclopedia of all the killers and stuff. And remember I complained about like how in Overwatch, if you want to learn anything cool about the characters, you have to fucking go on the website and shit. And I wish they had at least had like a little profile when you go into the heroes gallery. And why, why can't the, their little storyline be there so people can like you know learn a bit more and not have to fucking go to a website every time? So for the definitive version, they compiled all those bullshit fanfic stories that they wrote about I already complained about it, Orchid's grandmother being yeah, instrumental yeah, with the yeah, fire yeah, cat. Yeah. They uploaded all of that to the definitive edition so you can look through all of it and like, oh, it's so hilariously bad, some of them. Some of them are quite good, like Jago's and you never read through all of them, right? No. You should read through Thunders. Okay. It's actually super. It's his is one of the one of the good ones. But some are so bad. Orchids is the, is the worst. I read or Orchids, and that's the <laughs> only one I read. And I was like, you are doing way too much right now. You're doing you need way to too calm much. Calm it the fuck down. Plus, Thunder and Jago and characters are like that. They kind of like they add extra detail, but it's still like what you think of the character. Like Jago's still basically the same. But they turned Orchid, who was like the super suave secret agent and mysterious, and now she's like this fucking unstable psychopath. Yeah. And she's like, oh, growing up in orphanages, I burned them down with the fire cat. What are you, the fucking dude from V for Vendetta? Like, what is this craziness that you're, you suddenly are, are you're changing like her kind of attitude and whatever. Like, Spinal's the same, and Cinder's like this crazy asshole that he's supposed to be. But for Orchid, she's just like, ah! 
all the time. It's like, imagine Street Fighter VI, like, Chun li is just nuts. Well, yeah, I, they had, like, they had a book worth of story yeah. that they tried to cram into three paragraphs, and it was just, it was like, what do you got? It's like, okay, you grew up here, and you learned this her style, dad and your dad, protected her. but then the fire cat, but then also your brother, and then also your obsession, and it's just like, oh my god. A little, like, a little too much for her. Like, two, like eight protagonists. Orchid's one. origin! Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> So the cool thing about doing this, the 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 crow step, uh, and like back and forth like that, yeah, is that when it cuts back to his wind pose, you see the crows flowing by, nice, and then like he, then he walks into them. So it's like I was just there. <laughs> he's like, oh, wha where am I? He walks into the, the flock of crows. He's like, whoops, sorry. Where, where am I? Thanks or for the workout. No orchid said that to you. The orchid's like, thanks for the workout. All right, Africa's down a little bit. All right, America. so when we end the turn, here. Sure. Yeah. All right, there we Darkness go. Draws his godlike power from the astral plane, but outside of his own realm, he is mortal. The spread of corruption transforms the earth to feed Gargos's power. As this corruption spreads, so does the Shadow Lord's power increase. His army of omens guards the portals. Yeah, that yeah, feed yeah all the accessories. Best. That's cool. They are honored to bear a portion of his glorious might to this new domain. Go, my chin Pokemon! It's little. It's like it's like one minion controlling more minions. There we go. All right, so that omen has appeared. Corruption, corruption spawns. South America has reached fifty percent corruption, generating a Gargos power. Uh, the Fang of Gargos has increased damage. So, if we defeat this omen. And ultra combo him. When we do uh, fight Gargos, he won't have that buff of increased damage anymore. You have to land the ultra though. Yeah. Okay. Unless they change that for the ba for the this final version of Shadow Lords. Okay. Despite South America's best attempts to dance the corruption away, <laughs> to fucking jiggle their booties. Unfortunately, they were not successful. Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, uh, heal Thunder for sure. Might need to buy some more of those, those like twenty five percent things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I landing, landing the, um, the ultra with, uh, I don't, I don't. I, sometimes I miss it with TJ, but I land it with Thunder like pretty consistently. Uh, I think for an omen, that's gonna let us pick all three guys. Oh, cool. Okay. I, I, I believe so. So we have to find the omen mission on the map somewhere. Is it not around, or do we have to? I think we might have to defeat all the current missions to. And then, uh, and then afterwards you get. Wait, wait, no, it's it's not down because I saw Pat. Yeah. Okay, then what's in Ecuador? Ecuador. Oh, so it's, uh, uh that's Glacius. Maybe Glacius. So yeah, I guess we gotta defeat these all for uh, to get the Omen fight. Okay, well, can we just deploy then? Deploy them available. Go go to the other ones and see if you can deploy. Yeah. Plan available. That's weird. I kind of thought we'd you'd, like, you'd, you'd, you'd get it right, right away. There. Yeah, because it's like that's a problem. Why can't we deal with it right now? <laughs> Don't that, that that one you'll be able to. Okay. There you go. Launch it. See what happens. See what any more dumb story stuff. It's gonna just go. You're just gonna get the rewards. Shadow worm. It gives you shadow energy. Makes sense. That explains it. Midichlorians! You encounter a hardy group of rebels stationed in your mission site, <laughs> holding their own against the forces of Gargos. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, a string of violent, a string of, re of recent victories has left them with a surplus of materials and they offer a trade. It should be a string of violent victories. 50 particles for a nanotech clusters? I don't know. I worth, don't know. Is that worth it? No idea. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't know that much about all the resources. You got some shit. Word off mimics. The leader thanks you. Sure. Okay. Okay. I guess we. I guess we gotta go. Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, here, you want to take this one? Sure. Uh, overdrive shadow siphon. So. 
I think it's like you have to for that day you defeat everything and then Omen's like the last thing you do for that turn or something. After everyone's all tuckered out, everyone's well, I mean, all tired and they had a long day at work <laughs> and then you come at, at five this o'clock. Is, oh, the fact that like this are useless scrap salvage force the warehouse is bolted open. So yeah, we did this before. I, I do not want to get more mimics in here. You're saying that before I punch out at five PM the Herald of Gargos is waiting at the door? <laughs> as soon as you walk in, just <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. As soon as you walk in, he just does, like, a, a, a big, dumb, bullshit fireballs come jumping out your house. You know, you, random fireballs. And the fireballs. gatekeeper, we know the great truth, Gargos is the giver of life. I thought you said he was the untaker. Isn't that... The under... The undertaker un of life. Untaking is truly giving. If you untake... Then you didn't do anything. But if you ungive, you, it's not like you took. <laughs> no, if you ungive, that means you take back something you gave. No, that means you ungi ungiving means you just never give. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry, got my terms mixed up. This is Pat the Ungiver. There you go. All right. <laughs> oh well. I had problems with Glacius when I was, uh, I get with, uh, Hisako on him, I forgot. As you would, because he's a, he fights you from full range. It's true. That poison bite's doing work, though. Ah! Your, your imaginary friend, Snake, is, uh, is doing some poison work. Good job, Snake. Can love bloom on the battlefield between a ghost and an alien? Do you know the answers? Between, maybe a ghost slash alien. <laughs> ghost of aliens. Well, fucking, I, I doubt you've ever seen it, but did you ever see Ice Cube in um, Ghosts of Mars, the John Carpenter movie? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I wish you had said, oh my god, yes. <laughs> um, but that was like... like Carpenter, yeah, fuck yeah, but... Ghosts of Mars Ice Cube? Really? Yeah. Wow. No. That was good, good stuff. Okay. No, not really, actually, I lied, but... Okay. Um, <laughs> that was basically, like, ghost, like, spiritual, like, weird alien ghosts inhabiting people on Mars and made them into stupid zombies. It's bad. I saw it with a bunch of friends for my birthday one year. It was awful. You mean, you mean the concept of mixing ghosts and aliens? It doesn't work. Idea? It doesn't work. Huh. Huh, could have fooled me. Shocking, I know. Alright, so that that worked out. But what about spaceships in hell? <laughs> Yo, we need to scroll of focus. Uh, we really need to investigate hell, you guys, with spaceships. So fucking Shepard just Let's, let's get into the Normandy. Let's let, check this shit out. Let's let's fold a piece of paper and do the Stranger Things explanation for our science. Yep. And then that'll that'll be why we send our event horizon off. <laughs> There you go. Uh, and then this one. He gets Mimic Conrad. Mimic Conrad has been spotted just off the coast, coast of Norbotten. Reports are still... There's reports, but there is... John, there's it, there is evidence that indicates that Gargos' agents are different than what we've been seeing lately. The fuck? Reports that Gargos' cultists were seen at a Trump rally... <laughs> Okay, here we go. There you go. Fractured words, good. And, oh, effort, uh, is that just it's free shadow moves, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, look, it looks sort of sure you can, yeah. On your way to your mission yeah, in remember, your button. We got screwed the last time we did any maps. A local woman approaches you and offers to sell you a treasure map. But she's not in, she's not from Egypt anymore. But she's not sure if she's trustworthy. <laughs> I'll just do my mission. Just do your mission. Just get on, get on. You're in the habit of trusting strangers. You ignore the awful, awful woman and return to your mission. You do the call of Earth on the woman <laughs> and return to your mission. Thunder stares at the woman for over five hours and then goes back to the mission. <laughs> Strikes himself with lightning. Just yeah, to look at her. Thunder looking at that guy and somehow figuring out that it's an evil spirit. I am not certain. <laughs> However, I do believe. 
You calls himself Thunder, but that's stupid. Gargos is Thunder. There is a chance that I might be wrong. <laughs> but he perhaps. Might, he might be a friend. <laughs> there may be a trace of this evil within this one. Ha! <laughs> There still ah, might yeah. be a shred of humanity ah, left in a, ah, in a mimic mummy that has fury too and vampirism. Blasphemous. There might be a chance. I will <laughs> never be good. I still believe in you. I am not. I am not so sure. <laughs> I must consider this. He might be one that you goes along with, with the law. <laughs> Fucking green oozing mummy <laughs> that has Fury 3 and, and vampirism. So yeah, vampirism I believe that was like if he if he uh life suck. He gains uh, life as he damages you. Yeah, yeah, he just he's gaining life as he's hurting you. This is a bullshit. Max armor reached. Meter. Yeah. He's still... There. I can save him. Within, I feel a courageous heart. <laughs> the like, law. Even when he wasn't a mimic, it's like, Kodra? The guy that the game says not to trust? In any circumstance? I could not save him. Despite my best efforts, I am bringing his spirit to the, <laughs> to the greater gods. W what a sweet, innocent being. May they never forget this noble soul. <laughs> of fury, too, and vampirism. Alright. What'd you get? The shadow plasma, good. The shadow plasma, and if you mix it with the shadow particles, you get shadow. You get shadow shit. You get a shadow like shadow arm. as a, like a, a, a an actual element in this world, and not just the thing that happens. Yeah, that, that's the sun. When makes. you look at the light. Come on, you bastard! Omen, where are you at? Call. Yeah, you are. Why are you scared, Omen? All right, so we're at 86, 86, let's just, 91. Let's just, you know, let's just top off and feed up. We might need to buy more of those scrolls. Like, the cheap scrolls. Yeah. Well, that was the last one. Yeah. And then, let's feed our little buddies. Our imaginary our, friends. Our friends. Our chip Pokemon. Because I'm definitely using the, the auto breaker for this. Sure. I agree with that logic. Well, which one should I use? The plus 70? No, no, no. The plus 60 is fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. But you're going to need the whole team, though, right? Uh, I believe it'll let us but go. Check out the mission. It'll say we can back out for you. It says it's hard. Rare 100%. Epic. Medium chance. Sure. Uh, yeah, it should. Yeah, there. Yeah, let's see do everything. Okay. I'm gonna start with TJ. Yeah. Then put a Sako, then put Thunder. Okay. Hey, for all we know, you'll... You might just kill him with... Maybe! Yeah. With TJ, for all you know. Uh, we want that Ram... No. That Epic Ram. That Epic Ram. Um... I will use the Epic Ram on this enemy. Uh, snake wouldn't be bad here. Sure. I'll give you some, too. Give me some, some. Defraction Ward's fine. Armor? Yeah, okay, it's not full charge, but that's okay. I mean, uh, Omen, almost everything Omen does is a multi-hitting bullshit move, so... Yeah, okay. Invulnerability is not bad. Oh, we're out of those, though. Yeah, so we, we, we should... You know, before we fight more Omens, or, like... We're, I think we're good for now, but, like, especially before we fight Gargos, we should, like, get a bunch of stuff. Okay. Any consumable that strikes your fancy? Yeah, that's fine. I think we got enough. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D you can deploy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was gonna joke about. Like you just go. Ah, I'm not fighting. Yeah, let, no. Let the computer. We get to fight on the astral plane, though. 
Okay, the Fang of Gargos. Just a regular, so that's increased damage. Which we take away from him. Yes. Oh, well, well, we take, no, he's gonna have it. But he did, we did, if we beat him, we deny Gargos that ability. Yeah, it hasn't, it'll, it'll, if we have to ultra combo him, it'll say when we start this fight. Oh, okay. But even if it doesn't, I'm still not sure if, like, that's a thing that they changed. But I guess it makes sense thematically. What if you beat him, but you don't ultra? Then you just... And you have to beat him again. Okay. Or, he'll, or maybe he'll keep getting up, like TJ does, and then you'll have to keep fighting him for that last little bit of health. Yep. Yeah. Alright, it doesn't say that we had to do it, but I'm not sure. So I like how it has uh, uh, Gargos' theme on the stage yeah. by default. It's hard to even kind of see over the little bit. He leads into the background uh, a smidgen. Poison bite. Nice. But while he's taking poison, you end you uh, you end a combo with an ender to cash out the poison damage. It said. Okay. Before he starts regaining it. Oh my god. You see now he's now he's slowly regaining that uh, potential damage from the poison. Shit. It's so definitely an uptick in difficulty. A little bit. And he's starting to block the shadow meter off. Okay, now it's now it's fine. Fill the screen with bullshit. <laughs> that's his mantra. That's that's his way. If you if you get him down to one health bar, she's yeah. Wow, that was good. So is he taking it? Like right now? Yeah, no, he's taking. He's still taking the poison damage. There we go. Okay. All that, all that, all that, all that. Yeah, no, you got it, you got it. Oh! Oh, cool! Nice. Go. Oh. Nah, that's fine. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Not at all. Oh, shit. You passed it to me, but... Pop your pop your stop your yeah. Did stick. Ah. You should, you should have done that. Oh no, he might have given it back to you. When we passed the controller me, I was like, oh shit, I wasn't prepared. Because we I didn't know that that was. Across the planes up. of space and time, we still hear the bell ring. Love how Combo has no problem breathing <laughs> out here. <laughs> I'm the champ. Yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, TJ Combo doing really good. He's not at all breathing heavy. Cut to footage of Combo breathing heavy. <laughs> like when Ali fought oh. Superman. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's one omen down. All right, all right. Not so bad. We still got four more. Gargos has Fuck lost you. one of his powers. Oh, oh he's just standing around and he felt it. Failed him. He, oh, he punches the omen! Or just in frustration. Or when he punched something <laughs> he somewhere. Punched something, and then an entire continent explodes. Shit, man. Like Dave Lang's asshole just gets blown, blown up. Blown out. Oh. And, not, and not for the regular reasons that it does. <laughs>